I'm making carbonara, it's bacon and egg spaghetti. The bacon is your choice of guanciale, which are pork jowls, uh, or smoked pancetta, if you want it to be more like bacon, like American style bacon, or pancetta, nice meaty pancetta, which is rolled cured meat, similar to bacon, but not smoked. The basics of carbonara, bring a large pot of water to a full rolling boil. Anytime we cook dried pasta, we always liberally salt the water. Why? Because we use that salty cooking water as an ingredient in the dish. We're gonna use it to temper eggs. And in my case, I like to use just egg yolks for carbonara. Six yolks per pound of pasta. You save the whites in a little plastic food storage bag for meringues, for baking, or for an egg white breakfast, if you like. We take our copious amount of olive oil, four or five turns of the pan to coat the bottom. We add our pork of choice. I used a smoked pancetta by John's Can request Can you use today. all the pork at the same time? No, honey. We, oh. There's a lot in here. Look, it, there's a lot. It's one pound of pasta. Gee, this is John's favorite. He loves bucatini. I do. And this one is a fancy one. It's like I straw, import like to a my straw. house from Italy. To the pan with the pancetta or the guanciale, we, once it's crisp, once the pork is crisp, we add in a copious amount of garlic because John won't eat anything without garlic, which is good because I eat so much garlic, I smell like garlic, and it would have been a deal breaker. <laughs> so we swirl this around uh, over moderate heat. The pan is not too hot. And then for me, this is not traditional, but I add a little dry vermouth, which is fortified wine. A little dry vermouth to the mix to keep the pan moist and add an acidity, a little brightness. You can also add a splash of lemon juice to your eggs. And I like a combo. It's a Roman dish, but I like pecorino romano, which is a sheep's milk cheese, which is tangy and salty. John's favorite is locatelli. And I like parmigiano reggiano, which is cow's milk and very nutty and buttery. So I say, best of two worlds, throw in both cheeses. And I just throw it right into the bath. This is the mix that's gonna turn into sauce. Carbonara does not contain cream, never has, never will. It's bacon, eggs, and spaghetti. The way we keep the eggs creamy and to form a sauce rather than scrambled eggs with spaghetti is to add that boiling hot water from the pasta to the bowl with your egg yolks. And in my case, I add all the cheese and a little splash of lemon in there as well. It becomes the sauce. It starts to thicken, but it will not scramble. Right. So we put all of the pasta with all of the sauce and we toss this. Yes, I know. And we toss this for a good minute. He's definitely gonna want of course more cheese. I, do. I know, I know, honey. I know. Okay, throw in some parsley. A little something green makes it look like, oh, there's something healthy going on here. <laughs> really, it's just bacon and eggs. Let's but be honest see, here. But you see, there's zero cream in here. Look how <clears throat> creamy it looks. That's the egg sauce cooking onto the pasta itself and marrying all together. You see that? Oh, it's a marriage made in heaven. Okay. Oh. Uh. And John likes a little black pepper on his, but it's not necessary. Black or red is up to you. He likes a little black on this. Are you ready? I was born ready. You Where's your fork? Here. Here. I got the bowl. We need a bowl. You don't need a bowl. <laughs> don't need a bowl? Forget the bowl. This is John's bowl. Get in there, honey. This is a Tuesday at our house. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 